So the weather hasn't been too good for the last couple of days, but this afternoon the clouds cleared up and it looked like there was going to be a good sunset. I went down to a location south of Fremantle because I was trying to get a video of the sunset behind Bathurst Lighthouse so we could get the lighthouse silhouetted against the sun. Now, unfortunately, there was a ship right in the way which prevented me from doing that exactly, but we got close. And anyway, the results from today's video are still quite productive. So basically the same Bathurst Lighthouse that we're familiar with. We were down at a location south of Fremantle and the distance was 22.18 kilometers to the lighthouse. Now the elevation of the beach was about three meters. So let's take a look at the earth curve calculator and see how that works. So here's the earth curve calculator. For an eye height of 3 meters, a distance of 22.2 kilometers, we have a target hidden distance of 20.13 meters. Now let's see how that equates to the height of Bathurst Lighthouse. Bathurst Lighthouse is 98 feet, which is 29.9 meters. Now if we have a look at the lighthouse, this is from one of my previous videos. We have a height of 29.9 meters, that's almost 30 meters. We have a target hidden distance of 20 meters. So two thirds of this height should be hidden. So if we look at the height of the lighthouse, that's going to be half. We would basically have one third hidden like that. Two thirds hidden is going to look like that. So that's basically what we are going to expect to see using the earth curve calculator for the distance of 22.2 kilometers and an eye height of about three meters. So let's see what it actually looked like. After the sun set, I had a beautiful silhouette of the lighthouse and it showed up very clearly. And also the sea was not totally calm, but there certainly weren't the big waves that we saw in previous videos. So it was probably the calmest sea conditions so far for these videos. So let me go ahead and play the footage from today. It's quite long and I had a couple of the locals stop and have a chat. So I've, I've actually edited out some of the conversation just to keep it shorter, but uh, you will hear me talking to a few different people. And let's see how that um, earth curve calculator predicted what we can see. And you can decide for yourself if it matches. Unfortunately, if I went to the location where the sun would set directly behind Bathurst Lighthouse, the lighthouse itself is hidden behind the ship, so I just had to move to the left slightly. No, you're fine. I'm just a bit lower now, near the beach. And I'll pop the solar filter on.
Yeah, so just a shame about the location of that ship, which uh, otherwise I could have got the lighthouse just in front of the sun as it was setting, but I'll try again tomorrow. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll zoom out, and as soon as the sun sets completely, I'll zoom all the way in and see if we can bring it back. Now this was a question asked to me of one of my subscribers to zoom out until the sun was about halfway set which we can see now and then zoom in to see if it brings the sun back so I'll zoom in now And you can see the sun is still half set. It doesn't actually raise it out of the water at all. So it's just about to set. As soon as it disappears, I'll zoom right in. Okay, and it's gone. So I'll zoom in now. That's maximum zoom in, and as you can see, the sun did not come back. So I'll take the filter off now. You can see a beautiful silhouette of Bathurst Lighthouse. And the waters are relatively calm today.
So I've just come down a bit closer to the water from where I was filming earlier. I just wanted to get right at the exact position where the sun was setting behind Bathurst Lighthouse, but as I said earlier, the ship was in the way, so I had to move left slightly. But just to pan around, to show you where I am, you can see I'm probably three meters above the water. Hello. Are you recording? I'm recording, yes. Yeah. Oh, you're fine. That's fine. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So that's it. It's not bad, is it? Yeah. Are you the guy that got the shot of the um, centaur, the Fremantle centaur, in front of the full moon? No, that wasn't me. No, it was a good no. shot though, wasn't no, it? No, I'm not a. Oh yeah, I'm not a professional photographer. I just do this for um for yeah, my for my YouTube some, channel. Yeah. yeah, but it had to be someone that lined it up dead on. Oh, okay. The, the full moon with the centaur on the top. Yeah, sure. But I thought it must have been you. Yeah, the reason I do this. Yeah. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. No. Have you heard of the flat Earth people, the ones who believe the Earth is flat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is to prove to them that Bathurst Lighthouse. Yeah actually is lower in the water. See, I was down at uh, Cottesloe on a 30 metre hill mm -hmm. and you can see the whole lighthouse yeah. and you can see the ground. Oh, and I see. So what I'm showing them is that the earth is actually curved. It is. Because, of course it is, mm. yeah, of course, you know. Yeah, it is, because you can see. That was a beautiful sunset, wasn't it? Yeah. What were you doing? What were you I, doing? I was actually just filming Bathurst Lighthouse. I was trying to get the sunset behind it. And um, the reason I'm doing that is just to show, uh, you've probably heard of the flat earthers, the people who believe the earth is flat. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, basically, I'm just showing them that Bathurst Lighthouse. You can see it in the camera here. Yep. The top of it is only just visible above the water. Oh, yeah. And if you go up to somewhere like Cottesloe, where you're 30 metres above the water, you can yep. see the whole lighthouse and you can see the ground as well. Yeah, so it, yeah. it's just proving the curvature. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. exactly. I completely it's a beautiful shot, though. It is. It is nice, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Do you get what you wanted to? Oh, it's too dark without. Um, oh, that's a shame. Just yeah. not a lot of light left. So no worries. All right. Have a, have no, a great night. Right. Thank you. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot. Bye. Uh, Other way. Sorry, we had to go past. No, that's that fine. Right? You're absolutely fine. Yeah. Thank you.